Hey, this is David. Let's learn how to make coffee at Salem. First, let's take a look at our coffee machine. By the way, if you ever hit a rough patch, get confused, just refer to the handy dandy instruction sheet that's attached to the coffee machine. Perfect. Now you'll want to look at the front and make sure that this light here is on. This is the main power switch and it is supposed to stay on at all times to keep the water that is inside always hot. And notice there are two baskets that we use. One is for coffee, the other only for hot water. It's cleaner. There's also a hot water dispenser right here. I'm not going to do that right now because it would scald me. You'll also find when you arrive four air pots plus a little creamer dispenser. We always make two regular pots of coffee, one decaf and one that's just filled with hot water. These also have labels you can change around and move. The coffee air pots have a long straw. If you look inside, you can see it's nice and clean. Let me first show you how to close it. It goes click. Just like that. The lid can be removed for cleaning simply by doing this. This bar fits just right into the top. And here's our coffee. Now it might not always be stored right here by the window, so ask if you don't see it. But we usually use regular Colombian or in decaf. Then there's also French roast. Let's brew a pot of Colombian. So we have coffee filters that are inside the box and one packet of classic Colombian. Yum. Here's how to put the coffee into the basket. First, put the filter in the basket. Tear open the coffee pouch, like so. And pour the contents. You then slide your filter basket into the coffee maker, just like so. The base of the air pot fits into this receptacle right at the base of the coffee maker. Make sure that the inner straw is removed. The lid is obviously open. Place the air pot right here. Now to start a full batch, which is what we want, you simply press down on this button. Look, it's brewing. And let's watch. So once it starts brewing, it usually takes a few minutes. And that means it's a good time to make sure you have enough cups and lids and stir straws and the little sleeves for hot cups and uh, condiment sugar that kind of thing out in the assembly room. We keep extra cups, lids and other supplies on top of the cabinet. In the assembly room we have our cups, our lids, the little sleeves, stir straws and packets of sugar plus tea. So make sure all this stuff is out, that we have enough. Now the coffee has stopped brewing. So carefully pick this up, move it off of the coffee machine. Take the straw, place it inside, close the lid, secure it down. And then you can carry it out to the serving area. 
once you carry it out there, you need to open up this lever. You have to pull it all the way back as far as it goes, and that will allow it to be pumped. Between every batch, fresh grounds must be put in. So you have to empty this one out first. Next you'll want to repeat this process only using decaf and then using the other clean hot water basket to simply brew hot water, but you're not brewing anything, just water. Then make another pot of regular coffee. There's fresh half and half in the refrigerator, but you'll want to pour it into this nice dispenser that keeps it cold, fresh, and clean when it's out there in the assembly room. Let's do a taste test. Now that's good coffee. After fellowship time, it's time to clean up. I'm going to clean the filter basket. Pour out any unused coffee. And then rinse. Use just a little bit of that. Rinse out the straw. Please wipe off the air pot so it doesn't get all spotty. And just set it out, leave it open so it can air dry. The last thing to clean out is the half and half container. If it still smells fresh to you, go ahead and pour it back into the container in the refrigerator. This needs to be cleaned out really carefully. We don't want any funky half and half laying around, do we? Finally, when you're all done, wipe down the counter that you've been working on, any drips, any spills, and thanks very much for making coffee for Salem.